Welcome back. Menstruation is a normal part of life for women, but what's normal and what's not? Are you frustrated? Do you have concerns? There are treatment options to improve your quality of life and get back to feeling your best. Dr. Sarah Arnold, a nationally certified menopause practitioner with Spectrum Health, is here to help. Good morning to you. Good morning, how are you? I'm well, thank you so much. This is such an important topic to talk about. So is abnormal uterine bleeding common? It is very common, upwards of about a third of all patient visits are um, because of abnormal bleeding when they go to see their gynecologist. So, so it's very common. Okay, yeah. so what exactly is it? So I guess we start with what's a normal cycle and a normal cycle can range anywhere from 21 to 35 days um, and last upwards around five to seven days. Um, what would be considered abnormal is anything really outside of that realm. So bleeding that's more frequent than every 21 days, spotting or bleeding between cycles, bleeding really heavily so that you're soaking through clothes or th soaking through um, bed linens and that sort of thing. So anything outside of that norm. And I'm assuming there are a lot of different directions we could go with this answer when we ask you what causes it. So we have to think about the person's age, the woman's age, because some of that plays into what the possible causes might be. Um, they could be anything from hormonal changes related to their thyroid or to changes with um, perimenopause or menopause. It could be structural, things like fibroids or polyps. It could also be something more worrisome like hyperplasias or uterine cancers. And then at what point should women actually seek out help for abnormal bleeding? Um, again, going back to what would be abnormal. So when, first off, when it's starting to affect your quality of life, where um, you know the stress that it brings on, whether it be home life, travel, overall health, um, when it's really interfering with you living your daily life, um, but also bleeding um, for more than the seven days, um, um, bleeding so heavily that you have to take a towel with you, things like that when you're traveling in the car. So, so as far as an age range of who this can affect? Mm -hmm. So um, it can affect any woman of any age. Um, and depending on that person's age, we might be more concerned about one cause or another. Um, so any bleeding for a woman who's postmenopausal is considered abnormal. Um, and then again, anything outside of that other range. So any woman of any age can be affected by abnormal bleeding. And I think the big thing in your focus is you want women to know you don't have to suffer with this. There are treatment options out there. So if you want to go ahead and name a few of those options that are out there. Sure, sure. So, I mean, in we would start with an evaluation first. And so we would go through their uh, medical history and do a physical exam. And then part of that evaluation always um, includes um, a pelvic ultrasound and sometimes a little sample of the uterine lining, which we do in the office. Um, and we do that in order to, to better understand what's the cause for the abnormal bleeding and what those treatment options may be. Um, treatment options depends on that patient's wish, their desires, how old they are, where they are in their life. Um, and they could be something as easy as hormonal management or medications or IUDs to surgical options like an outpatient surgery to remove a polyp um, or even um, depending on the cause, possibly a hysterectomy. So, all right. So basically, very tailored to that patient. Yeah, that, sorry, go ahead. No, yeah. So basically, women need to know though if you have any type of concern at all when you're in for these visits, they are private visits. It doesn't go between, you know, go beyond the room that you're in with someone like oh, yourself, course. right? Of course, yes. So um, we're at the Women's Center um, and we do work as a team. Um, so we do have multiple different providers for other sorts of um, issues or concerns that may be happening. But when you are seeing that provider, you are one on one and that information is shared there in that room. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much. If you are having any of these symptoms that we talked about, please call the Women's Health and Wellness Center, 616-267-8520. Make sure to visit their online wellness hub at spectrumhealth.org. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks. You as well.